Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, series of uh, PEO exams and this is a question about transformer from the electrical A6 power systems and machine exam. Uh, in this question it is basically uh, not uh, very close to the one that we solved before. The one that we solved before is a classical open circuit test and short circuit test. This question, no, it's not, it's not the same. There are some uh, assumption there, but I'd like to point here one thing. This question also appears in the ex in the May two zero one nine exam. The same question, except you will read that assume that the losses without the word core there, and that was a typo. Uh, you should include the core because if you ignore all losses, meaning that when you ask to find the efficiency here, it has to be 100% because there is no losses, which doesn't make sense also because you are given here the resistance of the winding of the high voltage and the low voltage winding. So there will be some losses. So that was a typo there. So if you are solving the May 2019, you need to make this correction. Okay, so let's see the question here. We are given a transformer basically here. This is the transformer. And the transformer is a step down transformer. So this side is the uh, primary side. Okay, and the V primary here is equal to 2300. And here is basically your secondary side, your V secondary is equal to 240. And the S of the transformer is 48 kVA. We are given the resistance of the high voltage side and the low voltage side, or the primary and the secondary in this uh, transformer. And you notice that the high voltage resistance is much higher than the low voltage, which makes sense because we will have much less current in the high voltage compared to the to the uh, low voltage side. This is why the resistance are basically totally uh, different. Now, let's say the transformer requires a two 138 volt for the rated current to flow in the secondary when it is short circuit. So if I come and short circuit this secondary, and I will have here I rated in the secondary, and here I will have I rated in the primary, I need to apply only a 238 volt. I will not apply the rated voltage here, but I will apply only the rated the rated uh, current. Okay, uh, so this is the short circuit test here. So we need to find the X equivalent. So now we need to understand which model to use. Now, since I did the measurement at the primary side, so everything has to be referred in the primary. So the winding that I will have here are equivalent and X equivalent. They are referred to the primary side. So this is VP and the current is basically IV. This is basically AVS and this is IS over, over A. Now the shunt element, I will not include it because it says here, assume that the core losses are too small to account for. Now there is the RC and the XM. I was not given anything to find uh, for XM. So I will just also ignore this. So this will be my model. Of the transformer. Now, what is R equivalent? Now, this R equivalent will be referred to the to the uh, high voltage side. So, this is R equivalent will equal to R one plus A square R two. I have to refer the R two to the high voltage side by multiplying this by A square. So, this will equal to 0.6 plus the ratio of the transformer 2300 divided by 240 all square times 0 0.025 and when you do that you will find that the resistance is basically equal to 2.89 so that is the total resistance now you are asked to find x equivalent but i know from the short circuit test that z as a magnitude of the short circuit is equal to the v short circuit divided by the i short circuit I know the uh, uh, short circuit, and I know that I have to apply the rated current. But which current I have to include, the one in the primary or the secondary? Of course, the primary, because I'm taking the measurement from the primary side. So my I rated 
from the primary side is equal to the 480,000, the 480 kVE, divided by the voltage, which is 2,300 volt. And this will give me a 20.87 amp. So your Z short circuit as a magnitude will equal to the 238 divided by 20.87, and this will give you 11.4 ohm. Now you need to find this is basically is equal to the R equivalent square plus the X equivalent square. This is what we want to find. So your X equivalent will equal to the square root of Z from the short circuit test square or the Z equivalent is the same thing minus R equivalent square. So this will be equal the square root of 11.4 square minus 2.89 square and this will give me around 11, 11 ohm. So that is your X equivalent. Now in part B, let me go to a new page. In part B, the require be required for rated current slash voltage. Now, honestly, I do not understand this slash. What does it mean? Does it mean or an and? I will assume it is an or. So what is the required B? that you need to that you need to supply when you apply the rated current and or when you apply the rated voltage okay uh, and at what condition i'm assuming again it's not very clearly stated here at the condition of the short circuit okay so the p this is part b at rated current now we have to use this circuit, the one that is referred to basically to the primary side. Okay, my R equivalent is equal to 2.89. My I referred to the primary side is equal to the 20.87 amps. So the P that you required will be the I squared times R which is equal to 20.87 square times R, which is the 2.89 ohm. And this will give me 1.2588 kilowatt. So this is, if you wanna measure during the short circuit test, you measure the power here using a watt meter. When you apply the rated current, this is the amount of power that will be, will be there. Now it says here, as I said, or so I will assume at rated voltage. Now at rated voltage, I will have here the rated voltage coming from this side, from the primary side. So this is 2300 volt. And I will have here my impedance. This is my R equivalent, X equivalent, and this will be a short circuit. So I need to find the current I at this rated voltage, and this will be the short circuit current. This is not directed current, this is extremely high current. And this I, I will call it the short circuit, but that's not the short circuit in the short circuit test. Because in the short circuit test that we use to find R equivalent and X equivalent, we apply a small voltage. But here we are applying the rated voltage. So basically we do this short circuit test to see the mechanical ability of the transformer to withstand if there is a short circuit happening in its winding. And I will leave in the video description, uh, a video describe the difference between this test and the regular routine short circuit test. So this is your current I short circuit will equal to 2300 as a magnitude divided by the impedance, which is basically 11.4. And this will give me a current 201.8 amps. Okay, now this current multiplied by the, uh, the resistance through the P required here will be 201.8 square times the resistance, which is 2.89. And this uh, will give me 117.64 kilowatt, a huge amount of power that is required to create the rated current along with the voltage at the same time. This, because this current 
is very close to the rated current. So I'm applying now at the short circuit conditions, both the rated voltage and the rated current. Finally, it says find the efficiency if the load is rated at 0.8 power factor lagging. So now this transformer model, now we know this R equivalent and JX equivalent. Basically, we have a load, the rated load, and the rated load, the S rated, we know it is equal to 480 kVA. Now, I am giving the power factor, which is equal to 0.8. Using the power triangle, this is your S, this is your P, this is your Q, and this is your theta. So, basically, your P, the power, is equal to S cosine theta, which is the power factor. So, this is equal to 48 times 0.8 give me 38.4 kilowatt so that is the output power this is my output power now my p input because i want to find the efficiency is equal to my p out plus the summation of the losses now here it says ignore the core loss so the only loss i will consider here so the i square r loss which we already calculate that before so we already calculate the i square uh, r uh, loss which is basically equal to 1.2588 kilowatt so this is given to me 1.2588 kilowatt this is the i square r r uh, loss because this will be your rated current i okay then your pn will equal to 38.4 plus these losses, which is 1.2588. So your efficiency is equal to 38.4 divided by 38.4 plus 1.2588 times 100, and this will give me 96.8%, which is very typical in the transformer although here we ignored basically the the uh, core uh, loss